Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And let me hear Unto the Lord, unto the Lord, unto the Lord. For all the wonderful testimonies we've heard. Give a mighty clap offering unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank the Lord so much for today. This is an extraordinary year. The Lord said, Because of how this year is going to be, He desires that we make it a year of soul winning and he added that we his children should also take heed because the way things will become tight if we are not careful whilst we win souls some will win us. And so he said, We should trust him. We should trust him. So this morning I'm speaking on the subject when God is silent. When God is quiet. When all your prayers. And after all your requests. And things are tight. And you are not hearing anything from God. We need to learn it. To survive this year. When God is silent all through the bible so many times and the lord said you hear the lord said the lord spoke the lord swore one thing that marvels me about god is that he can become silent. God can be very vocal about the ministry. But over your issue, he can be silent. And the Lord said, We will go through times as if we are going through a dark tunnel. And you are seeing no hope anywhere. What do you do when God is silent? An American preacher called A. W. Toza. America, Chole, A. W. Toza. Toza. He wrote a book. The knowledge of the holy. The knowledge of the holy. Niji And he said something. He said there is no obligation for God to speak to us. Or to inform us. Or to tell us anything we need to know. Because he is absolutely free. When he decides, then he will talk to us. When he likes, then he will answer us. I wish A.W. Toza was in this ministry. He will realize that we are a unique kind of people to God. 
People seek God with fasting on Achia mountains. And some don't find him. But we sit in this auditorium with our hands folded. And this God who is very scarce to some people. He chases after us. He follows us. He has great mercy on us. And he does things for us that our mouth cannot talk about. God is with this ministry so strong but he gets silent sometimes number one the silence of God does not mean the absence of God Job chapter 23 Job 23 we read from 8 to 10 when God is quiet, he is there. He is watching. Job 23, 8 to 10. Job 23, 8 to 10. I have searched in the east, but God is not there. I have not found him when I searched in the west. I search in the east and I can't find God. I look for him. I make my requests. I strive to live a right. But I still don't hear anything from him. Others are testifying. And I am also clapping with them. But I don't see him. God has been at work in the north and in the south. God has been at work. I know he's working. Because the things that are happening are not ordinary. Online he's working. In person he's working. At the youth church he's working. But me and when I get there, I don't see him. But still, I have not seen him. Yet God knows every step I take. Yet God sees me. My brethren, let's push this thought into our spirit. We will need it for this year. I don't see him. Yet, God still sees me. If he tests me, he will find me pure. And if he tests me, he will find me pure. God sees all of us. And he knows all of us. When he is quiet, he is there. He is there. We know the story of the three Hebrew boys so well. That God never spoke a word. He allowed them to go through the fiery furnace. In Daniel chapter 3. Daniel chapter 3. But he was there. God is there. Number 2. When God is quiet. He is expecting us to obey him. To obey him. Sometimes 
What baffles me about God is he knows everything, but it's not everything you will see. Isn't it interesting? A God will come and call a bad boy like me. I can no bad boy tamole. And he will say only good things about me. Ne only good things. He will not ye mention ye any ye. of the bad things. Let not that man begin to think that what he's been silent over means he doesn't know. God knows everything. And sometimes when he's quiet, he is waiting for us to take that step of obedience. So that he will give us a backing. So that he would bring his word to pass. Hebrews chapter 10. Read from verse 35. When God is silent, he doesn't always mean that he is not happy with you. This is also one thing that the enemy used to bring confusion in our minds. When God is quiet over your issue, it doesn't always mean he's not happy with you. He's working behind the scenes Yes, expecting that you will trust him. Hebrews chapter 10 35 to 39 the first one. Hebrews 10, 35 to 39. Do not lose your courage then, because it brings with it a great reward. On 1st of January, 1st January, when the Lord spoke to us, He gave us some courage, some strength. It doesn't matter how this year is going to be. If you will walk aright, if you will pray, and if you will trust me, I will take you through. This is courage. He says, do not lose that courage. A time is going to come. Please listen. In the course of the year, a time is going to come. You will feel like you are in a dark tunnel. I'm telling, you, I'm telling you. It's not to scare. It's to let you not lose your courage. That courage is not it's not it's not mortal. God gave us this courage. You need to be patient in order to do the will of God. And receive what he promises. In times like those, exercise some patience. Not with you. Our sister who testified said that God's timing is right. We cannot all get married in February. There are times you need to exercise. Because as you wait, what God is cooking for you, what God is preparing for you, it will not be ordinary. It will not be ordinary. It will carry weight. And it will make up for all the years that you waited. Someone can wait for a job for five years. And when he learns the job from God, from God, what he gets. It makes up for all those years of waiting. 
So don't rush. Don't panic. When you are in the valley of the shadow of death. Valley of the shadow. Be patient. And trust God. And start dancing for your testimony. I'm telling you. When Job says he has tried him, you will come forth like gold. God says you will marry. And then for a long time he does not talk about it again. And you are wondering. Has he forgotten? Does he not care? He's watching you. He's bringing the man. Slow, slow. He's pulling the man. He's pulling the man. He's adding more of what you need to the man. So be patient. For, as the scripture says, just a little while longer. Just a little while longer. So some of us have received. Glory to God. But for those of us who are still waiting. Those of us who are being mocked whilst we wait. Don't worry. Just a little while longer. And he who is coming will come. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And he Nile. who is coming Monisa Neba. will come. Eba-ba. He will come. Eba-ba. I'm telling you, he will come. Eba-ba. We've seen him come for people. Yes. He will come. Eba-ba. You will not die before your miracle. Kasebe. You will not die before what God says you do. He does it. Tomorrow is a delay. He will not delay. In John 11, Martha said, Lord, if you had been here, if you had been here, if, 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 if you had come early, Lazarus wouldn't have died. The resurrection. And, and you see, something interesting happened. He told Martha that Martha said, but I, oh, that's Martha, sorry. <laughs> it just occurred to me. So Martha told Jesus that, but I know that now whatever you ask the Father, he will give you. And Jesus said, he, your brother, will come back to life again. And Martha said, I know at the resurrection, in the future and Jesus said I am the resurrection I, what you think is a future event I am the resurrection I have come I have come the future resurrection is me I have come and indeed Lazarus rose again at the resurrection. He who is coming will come and will not delay. So in Luke 18 verse 8 Jesus said when the son of man comes would he find faith? Will you still be hoping you still be holding on. And let's finish. My righteous people, however, will believe and live. We, the righteous of God, we will believe. We will believe. And we will wait on the Lord. Even when he's silent. But if any of them turns back, 
I will not be pleased with him. If any of us turn back, if any of us becomes Lot's wife, God says he will not be pleased with us. That's not the end of the story. That's we are not people who turn back. We are not people who turn back. And are lost. And are lost. Instead, instead, we have faith. We have faith. And we are saved. And we are saved. Hallelujah. Amen. We are not those who turn back in the dark tunnel. We are not those who turn back when God is silent. But we belong to a special kind of people who believe what the Lord says and we are saved. This morning, let your faith come alive. Let your faith in God come alive. And be serious with God this year. This year, come to church. Come. Don't sit at home. It's not an ordinary year. Come to church. Pray. Solomon. Live a right. And expect God to come in an amazing way. And he who is coming. When he comes, you now you will see. And all of us will also see. And we will think you were lucky. You were not lucky. You stood for God. You were patient with God. And God has shown you his faithfulness. Do not lose your courage. Do not lose your courage. When God is silent, He is there. And He will come to you. Shall we bow down our heads and pray? Pray for yourself. Pray that God will give you the grace. To, to keep going even when you are not seeing him because when the difficult times come you will stand for God pray for yourself and I thank God for the grace he has given you this morning 